This is Justin Jimino from DragonBlogger.com, and I'm here showing you how to set up Streamlabs OBS loyalty rewards using the CloudBot and the rewards program uh, for Streamlabs. So one thing I really liked that I saw on other channels was the ability for people inside the chat to be able to do chat commands or purchase rewards with loyalty points and then trigger effects that could pop up on your stream. So like random GIFs or play noises, and this other integrations can do that, but Streamlabs OBS, and I was already using CloudBot, which is the cloud version of ChatBot. It's a bit more limited than ChatBot, but I was still able to figure out how to get loyalty rewards with the help from Streamlabs support. And I like sharing what I learned with others, so I'm going to show you quick and easy how to get this set up the way I had it set up. Now, this already assumes that you're using CloudBot as your chat or your alert box management system. And you're not just using Streamlabs OBS to stream, but you're using another service like Stream Elements to control your chat, your alerts, and your other customizations. So the CloudBot extension must be on. You must be in Streamlabs.com in the dashboard. You must go into your CloudBot. CloudBot must be on. Mod Streamlabs must be enabled. Now, what you have to do is you have to make sure your loyalty system is set up. So in your loyalty tab, make sure that you have all your loyalty settings set up. The loyalty system is enabled so that you have a loyalty name, which could just be points, gems, or whatever other you know name you want your loyalty points to be called, and you have that set up. That way your viewers can earn the loyalty, because if they don't earn the loyalty, they can't spend the loyalty to trigger the effects. So after you have your loyalty system set up and you have your users and you know know what points they're going to be loyalty users, then you could go set up your store. You would click on the store icon and start thinking about what you want to create as alerts that users can trigger and have those show up on the stream. I'll give an example. Like I have this cute little uh, baby dragon alert here. And so a user, if they're in my chat and they want to interact with me, they can click on Baby Dragon, spend 20 loyalty points, and they could redeem it. And then I can go over to my Streamlabs and you see it redeems and pops up on my stream and shows to all the viewers in my stream just by spending those 20 loyalty points. So I'll show you how to set that up and how to test it all and make sure that all looks good. So back to where we were. The first thing you want to do is you could choose to build your rewards first. Right, So if you want to build your rewards first, start thinking about how you want to work out your rewards. Think about how many points you're awarding your viewers and the cost you want to make for each rewards. Uh, you'll notice that I have a system generally where I make really, really cheap rewards for just gifts with no sound. I'll make those five loyalty points, for instance. You know, I've got a bunch of those up there. If they have sound in their audio clip too, then I'll make them 20 points, you know, and I'll just make them fun. But I also have other rewards too. Like I have... Like usually if you want a longer alert, one that plays longer, you might actually increase the point cost. But I actually have a custom award where people can redeem a Steam game key for 2,000 loyalty points. Now that won't display – it will also display an alert box on this on this uh, stream, but it will also give out a random Steam key to those users too. So that is one of more expensive loyalty rewards. So think about the rewards you want to set up. So – to show you how to set up an award, uh, you know, a loyalty reward, you want to create a new item, select whether you want to do a stream perk, the item description that they'll see on the store, or now a stream perk could be something they redeem offline where it goes into a queue and then you have to deliver it personally, or it could be something where it's just an alert, like a pop-up with a GIF and a, and a sound. Sound effect is for just a sound, but realistically you can use stream perk or sound effect to trigger an alert and a sound at the same time. You don't have to do – you could do one or the other. I use them as stream perks, but you could do just sound effect. You decide how much you want the loyalty to cost. You decide the quantity. Minus one means it's unlimited. You can never run out of this reward. But if it's a physical reward, like let's say you give out five handwritten notes to viewers who spend a thousand points, right? Then you want to put only five because only five people can redeem. The global cooldown is how often can this alert trigger. And you'll notice that some alerts can be spammed by many users. You don't want to have GIFs and sounds constantly playing from people triggering alerts. So having a two minute cooldown for a specific alert is generally pretty good. Uh, if you feel like you need to increase it more or less, but two minutes is generally, you can only trigger a pop-up alert, that specific pop-up alert once every two minutes to help avoid some spam that can occur. So after you got that done set up, you click on the next button and then you choose the thumbnail image. Now, you have to choose either a GIF or PNG file or something else. You can't choose a WebM. So you can't have a WebM 
that will show up in the store. Even though it'll play, it won't show you the graphic image of the WebM right now. I hope I added a, a feature request that they could fix that and make WebM supported. But if I choose a WebM, then I won't be able to see the picture of the loyalty reward. Now, WebM will play on the stream if they redeem it, but I have no ability for the user to see a picture if it's a WebM. So that's why WebM isn't something that can be used at the moment. If you want it to be animated like these are right here, then just use a GIF. If you want it to be a static image, just use a PNG or a JPEG. The next thing is, and this is kind of ironic here, is every single reward has to have a sound file attached to it. Again, if they supported WebM and the WebMs can have their own sound, you wouldn't need to have a separate attached sound file. So what I wind up having to do here is for when they redeem a static image and I don't want sound, I had to create a 60 second or a sound clip that was just silence. That way I was able to attach a silent sound clip. That way when they play the reward, they could see the image, but no actual sound plays. But I had to actually create a silent sound clip that I could attach as a sound, because again, you have to attach a sound file. So creating like a, a no sound file or, or you know, a file that has zero sound whatsoever, an MP3, which will convert to AUG when you upload it, is the best way to achieve that. The next you want to do is you do want to show the alert when it's redeemed. You want it to pop up on your display on your stream while you're streaming. And then you want to see if you want the readers to be able to redeem via chat or only redeem if they go to the loyalty store. So this is the chat command. In this case, they would do exclamation redeem space got time, and it will display this got time image and play this zero, this no sound file that, which again, you have to attach a sound file. Again, open the enhance request. You shouldn't have to require a sound file. You should be able to support WebMs. You can also add additional requirements, like if you uh, are going to be mailing out a physical item that you could ship to them, you can add additional requirements. But if those, if you do additional requirements where you have to collect customer information, they cannot redeem via chat command. They can only redeem from the loyalty store. So just know that. So after have your reward set up, you know your points and all that, right? Then you got to make sure you have it set up so that way the rewards can be shown properly. So you go into your alert box settings, which is the alert box. And here you will go to your CloudBot Redemption, which is your reward redemption section. You want to make sure your redemption alerts are enabled so that way your alerts will pop up. You decide how you want the generic layout to be, whether you want to be um, the image and the text under it, the text over the image, you know, text beside it, et cetera, the animation fade in, fade out, whether or not the message template shows the user redeemed and what product they redeemed, the, the default text animation, you know, which is, again, this is the defaults. Here's the thing. You want to uncheck replace product image with custom image. If you check this out, then you'll only have a static image ever shown. You won't have be able to have them play the alert that you know the image that they actually redeem so uncheck this if you want the alert to pop up with the same thing that they're redeeming no sound here because you're defining it in the individual alert itself so you don't need to have a sound at all defined so sound volume is irrelevant here although because you could set sound volume individually for each alert and then for alert duration again the default of 10 seconds is fine but try to keep your uh because you can set your alerts differently keep the default Here's where things get interesting. You don't use alert variations. You don't have any alerts set up because you're basically relying on your redeem to set all that, right? So you don't want to have any alerts. If you had any custom variations in this area, you want to disable them. If you have any of them enabled, they'll override your store alert. So once you have that done, then you're ready to set up your alerts and then test it out and redeem. Like here's a little fizz gig, which I can redeem here, and I can see them pop up on screen. And there, my readers can redeem fizz gig. It's frustrated. So now if I want to test that out via chat, right? I can, let's do another one since I have a cooldown on that. Let's do this one right here. And if I remember correctly, the, let's see what the redeem thing is for that. I need to get the redeem word. The redeem word is you can do it. So that's pretty easy. So in this case, we're gonna go to my Twitch here, and we're going to do redeem. You can do it. Press enter. You can do it. And then see, you get your you little gift with audio file there. So there, that's what you could do to set up custom loyalty alerts uh, that reader viewers can redeem and interact with your stream. Now again. There's always a potential for spam. If you get the points too low, you can have people trigger them over and over. So make sure you have that cooldown in place. You can see the cooldown shows 
um, that it's cooling down. I use it for game keys. It's just a fun way that viewers can interact with the stream and trigger some alerts. Since I'm a multi-streamer channel, I have some custom alerts for each streamer. Like I have a streamer, James Braga. They could do an ambassador, James Braga. I have Nate. They can they can do one of his alerts. So I have custom alerts for my various streamers if they want to show support and just you know do something fun for the various streams. So this is how you'd use the loyalty store and loyalty alert box with Streamlabs CloudBot and a way you can have custom stream alerts set up. Thank you for watching. Ask any questions in the chat. I'll try to figure things out for you. Thank you.